Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Muhammad Saif Niazi and I'm an orthopedic surgeon. This video particularly addresses the orthopedic surgeons and the laparoscopic surgeons, be it the residents or the consultants who wish to, who wish to pursue their care, career in arthroscopic or laparoscopic surgeries, but due to lack of practice or due to lack of equipment or mere anxiety related to the arth to the performing arthroscopic or laparoscopic surgeries are unable to perform it. Minimal invasive surgeries using scope is a different subset of surgeries which demands great deal of hand-eye coordination and great deal of precision to be able to perform the surgery without directly looking at the area of interest but instead viewing it on the screen demands tremendous amount of practice. I have managed to make a cheap homemade arthroscopic or laparoscopic simulator to improve triangulation skills, hand eye coordination, and to improve precision related to the use of arthroscopic instruments. The idea is to relieve anxiety and cognitive stress related while performing these surgeries. To set up the simulator, we need following things. A box to make a closed dark chamber, a tripod stand, a file stick, a snake camera which is available on Amazon, and a pencil mounted stick and tens used to fix pediatric shaft fractures. This is a snake camera or endoscope camera which is available on Amazon. It can be used in Android phones. The wire is pretty large making it easier to use. At one end there is a camera along with row of LEDs which helps in illuminating the dark chambers of the box. This is a regulator, the LED regulator which regulates the intensity of light and the other end is connected to the mobile. The arthroscope used in arthroscopy comes under the category of rigid scope but the camera we are using here is a flexible scope. So this needs to be converted from a flexible scope into a rigid scope. For that we need file stick. From one end of the file stick the camera should be proceeded through the space within the file stick till it comes out at the other end. It should be kept proud at the other end. Once it is positioned, it is fixed using adhesive taping. While fixing it, make sure the lens is not covered. Similarly, the other end should also be reinforced with the help of adhesive taping. Once fixed, a flexible scope is converted into a rigid scope and ready to use. To make the camera functional, a USB camera app needs to be downloaded from the Play Store. When the camera is connected to the mobile and app is opened, it will automatically open up the display through the camera. The LED light is pretty bright as you can see and so is the quality of the camera video. The area of interest is a box or a chamber which would provide us with a dark compartment and where we would be doing endoscopy. Here I've used a t-shirt box and inside it 
I have made some geometrical figures both on the floor and on the roof and also on the sides the utility of which I will discuss in the remaining part of the video the box is closed and the portals are made it is closed in a manner that at one end it is partially closed and at the other end it is completely closed this provides substantial amount of working space inside the chamber an accessory portal may also be made this is how the setup looks like the mobile connected to the camera is mounted on the tripod stand and it acts as a screen once the setup has been made we will perform the inspection part for this we will introduce the camera through one of the port once inside the box we will rotate the camera along its axis to maintain the horizon inside the box we will inspect it and whatever the geometrical figures and the numbers we have written we should be able to see in order to inspect those areas which were not visible through the primary portal we may use the accessory portal for example the circular maze visible here was not visible through the primary portal also the geometrical figures visible on the wall are easily visible through the accessory portal After the inspection, instrumentation is done using titanium elastic nail, one end of which has been bent and converted into a handle for easy maneuverability. Once the instrument is introduced through the other portal, triangulation may be practiced by orienting the camera and the tip of the tents. Various practicing maneuvers may be performed like pointing and holding the tip at the center of circles. This would enable to practice fine hand movements in millimeters, which is an important aspect in arthroscopy. Another maneuver could be to drag the tip in between the predefined tracts to improve stable and controlled movements of instruments within the joint. More complex tract may be followed once the confidence is gained in simple maneuvers. Another basic maneuver which could be practiced is to use a pencil mounted stick. It may be used to draw figures, to fill up the spaces inside the circles, to encircle the numbers or any other simple task which you may think of using a pencil as it will only add up to skill improvement.
So friends, I hope you liked it. This was the basic instrumentation part. I will eventually upload a second video in which we will practice some more complex maneuvers like retrieval, grabbing, suturing. Even the postgraduates can use this model to practice it. One important thing to be kept in mind is that this cannot replace the need of fellowship or any arthroscopic or laparoscopy related courses because dealing with the patient, performing the surgeries in the real life tissue and follow up of the patients requires good mentorship. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep practicing. Bye-bye.